I'm interested in the relationship between Lawrence and Mabel and Lawrence and Frida. Yes. And Lawrence and Brett. Could you tell us something about that? Well, yes. Uh, uh, <coughs> the relationship, you are dealing here with three women, don't forget that. And they became all of a sudden very jealous. And uh, I think uh, Brett was the closest to Lawrence, as far as I remember. But not Mabel Luhan. Uh, in my opinion, she always uh, uh, got some had peculiar ideas, and he didn't like it. He was a man; he didn't take anything from anybody. I don't care who it was. He was very much interested when I met him in Austria. I was surprised in Vienna, and uh, I told him, I said, I've been gone for over two years. And uh, there's very little left of Austria. Uh, he was a man, I tell you, when you, begin, when you start to talk to him, all of a sudden you begin to like that man. He had something warm, uh, close to earth. And I thought, really, I, I didn't know who the man really was. And then she told me he's one of our greatest writers. Frida came to me with that. What did he look like physically? Oh, physically, he, a tall, a very slender. I call him a, a thin man. And uh, not that alone, but uh, how would you say? He didn't, he didn't talk very much. There were, there were very little to be said when it, come, when it came to uh, Lawrence. He wanted to know more about myself than he told me about him. Then the woman, uh, Brett told me all about him, not no one else. Brett is the one. And Brett is one of my closest friends today. How about Frida? What, uh, you were oh, Frida, Frida, Frida became a very close friend of ours. She admired, Frida came down, she admired my son. He was then, I think, a, a Harvard student. Oh, no, no. Uh, Joseph had already a doctor degree when we met her. Uh, we went with Frida to uh, Mexico, I remember, and uh, there are episodes that I could not explain, really, when they brought, when they brought um, uh, Lawrence Ashes back. It was something very tragic.